Hey, how you doing? I'm the Glant Guru, and this is the Big Agnes Big House 6. Deluxe! Well, let me turn around. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Great way to start. There's also the Big Agnes Big House 4, but why not go with the big one? Because it's big. Everything's big here. <laughs> Uh, it weighs about 13 pounds, so it's like a base camp or a festival tent. Um, I don't know why I'm lifting it like that. I'm not that... I don't work out ever. Anyway, let's get inside the bags, shall we? First up, you got the steaks. As you can tell, I love to make it rain steaks. Oh, look at Chihuahua. Yeah, this is what happens when you're in the park, people. You get to meet some Chi-Chis. One thing I find kind of cool is that the bag separates the fly from the actual tent. It's kind of neat, to me at least. And in the middle you have the steak, so it kind of like, uh, it's like a sandwich, a tent sandwich. Up oh, and the up, the indirections, very simple, straightforward directions. And this little piece of pole, which you can use to repair any poles you might snap because you're so strong. Yeah, so we're gonna set the tent up now. Uh, it's pretty easy set up. Uh, I looked at the directions only a couple times, and I love the color, which is, you know, very important. As you can tell from the way I dress. <laughs> All right, then you're gonna lay it down flat and just stake down the corners. Uh, I thought I'd just show you how big it is by me just laying on it and taking a, a minute of it. I mean, it is the Big Agnes Big House 6. It's pretty cool, it only has three poles, which I think is simple, and that's the way it should always be. And the setup of the poles is like very straightforward. It's just two big poles and you're good to go. Take note, tent makers, it's really all you need is two poles. Just two poles, come on. All right, after that, what you're gonna do is put the poles right through little slots, I mean sleeves. <laughs> Look at that tent knowledge, am I right, people? Okay, then now just in each corner, you're gonna find these little holes to put the poles in, which I think is great, because it should just be that simple. I mean, why is it just not that simple all the time? I'm just saying. Then, once you got it standing up, you're just gonna clip the sides of the poles. I mean, it's refreshing to have a tent this easy to set up. I think a lot of time with these glamping tents, you find they're kind of complicated for no reason. One thing I noticed right away when I opened the tent, I just realized it was like pretty damn spacious. Then there's this welcoming mat that you pull out. It's made of plastic, so it's not the best thing for boots or shoes to get the stuff off, but it's got a map. I mean, if you got lost in that part of the world, I guess you're, I guess you're good. The next thing I noticed was the door. Uh, when you roll the door back, there's really nowhere to stow it. There's no cinch straps, nothing like that. There's like this weird little rope I think you put it through. It just doesn't seem like an efficient place to put the door. Unless I'm just doing it wrong. I mean, someone tell me, please. But what's funny is in the back door, you actually have little cinch straps. I, I don't get it. Why not put it on both doors? Anyway, let's move on. One cool feature is having a pocket in a couple of the corners so you can store your dr I mean, your, your stuff, you know. I also kind of wish there was a loft pocket above you. That'd be pretty cool. When I got inside the tent, I noticed right away there's a lot of headspace. I mean, I'm 5'7", and there's so much headspace beyond me. There's this diagram of like six people sleeping in this thing and honestly it just looks super tight. So I decided to kind of lay down and pretend I'm those people. And yep, it's tight. I mean, you gotta think about it. You're gonna have stuff with you, not just your sleeping bag. You can separately buy this vestibule, but that's like an extra cost. And really you should be able to fit your stuff just in the tent. Now putting on the fly is very straightforward, but for me it uh, wasn't. It took me literally three times to get this thing on right. I'm a pro, people. They don't call me the Glamp Guru for nothing. Remember when I said this tent was easy to set up? Yeah, it, it is. I'm just an idiot. And once I figured it out, it was time to put in the fly pole. Thread it through the sleeve, and uh, you're good to go. Put it in the two holes, and that's it. Even though the fly is pretty easy to put on, I don't think it covers the tent well enough. And to be honest, it's probably another reason why they try to get you to buy this thing. Now, I didn't put the guidelines out because, to be honest, I'm just lazy. But you get the point. Well, that's the Big Agnes Big House 6 Deluxe, uh, made for really three or four people, to be honest. But it's a good, simple design. It's got lots of vents. It's got front and rear entry, which, believe it or not, some of these tents don't even have. And this sweet-ass map mat. <laughs> All jokes aside, I do like this tent. I do think it could use a little more room for six people, though. Beyond that, it's a good tent. It does have a decent price tag on it, but if you want to invest in something that you're going to use for festival camping or base camping, it's not a bad option. Well, that's that. I'm the Glen Guru. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the Big Agnes Big House 6. There's a lot of bigs. Uh, until next time. Thanks again. I'm the Glen Guru. Uh, please subscribe, comment, all those things. Take care.